You can't be president in Nigeria in 2023, Dino Milai tells Peter Obi as Nigerians react to his comments. Hey guys, this is still DJMTV Daily News Update. Senator Dino Milai, the former federal lawmaker, has said that despite the leadership qualities of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi will not win the election for the 2023 presidency that he may need to wait for another year to run for the presidency. In a video we're about to watch that was shared via his social media handle, Senator Dino Melaya said, based on Peter Obi's view of the country's challenges, the nation does not need him for now. According to Senator Dino, the country currently needs someone who will unify the different religion and ethnic groups in the country, not someone like Peter Obi who can only cut the cost of governance. He said, no doubt, Peter Obi is one of the finest Nigerians who is intellectually mobile. He is a great Nigerian and by the grace of God, he is qualified to be the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the nearest future. Mr. Peter Obi, I celebrate your movement for a new Nigeria, but I want to advise that your time is not now. You have to wait for your time. Let's watch the video. We'll be right back. Fellow countrymen and women, I'm here to address you once again in the course of our nation's history. I'm here to address Nigerians, especially on my brother and friend, the former governor of Anambra State and the former vice presidential candidate of our political party, um, Peter Obi. Peter Obi is one of the finest Nigerians who is intellectually mobile and administratively sagacious. He is a great Nigerian and by the grace of God, he has the potential of being a great president in the nearest future. I celebrate you, Peter Obi, and I celebrate your movement for a new Nigeria. I celebrate your conscientization of the Nigerian youth and public on governance and building a new Nigeria. But I want to advise that your time is not now because um, you will have to wait for your time. Um, I've listened to your postulations, I've listened to your arguments, I've listened to your deliveries, I've listened to um, your campaigns. And I can say that 90% of your campaign is dwelling on reducing the cost of governance. I mean, most of your campaigns is around cutting the cost of governance. Uh, and I want to tell you that the problem of this country is beyond just cutting the cost of governance. The problem of this country is beyond reducing the cost of governance. Um, uh, I'm not saying that it's deceptive, I'm not saying it's pretentious, but I'm telling you that it is less than 1% um, of our national problem. Beyond cutting the cost of governance, and I want to say that the cost, cutting the cost of governance, you don't need to be a president to cut the cost of governance. If you have a very effective Minister of Finance, you have a very effective Minister of Budget and Planning, you have a very effective um, CBN Governor, you can cut and governance. You have a very effective Chairman of the Economic Team. Uh, you, you, can, you can cut governance um, with the cooperation of a president. But I want to say that that is not our major problem today in this country. What we need today in Nigeria is to unify this country. Nigeria has never been this divided in our national history. Not even during the Civil War are we this divided. There is no trust between the North and the South. There is no trust between the East and the North. There is no trust between the West and the South. And, uh, and the Southeast. So we need one character who have the capacity and capability to unite us together as a nation first. Because we need to first believe in ourselves as people. We need to believe in our unity. We need to believe in our togetherness even before we can make progress. Because without unity there can be no peace. And without peace there can be no development. So first, we need a unifier. Who can unify this country? Today I want to ask sincerely, Peter Obi and his supporters, can Peter Obi be trusted by a typical casino man or somebody from the northern part of this country? 
Can he be trusted as an evil man by middle belters, by core northerners? The answer in every sincerity of purpose of heart and commitment is no. So we need one Nigeria who is going to be trusted by every part of this country. Who the north will believe in, who the south will believe in. And that person, without blinking my eyes, is Atiku Abubakar. Who, when it was dangerous for any Nigerian to talk about the issue of uh, devolution of powers, when it was dangerous for any Nigerian to talk about um, the issue of um, uh, restructuring, he did with every boldness in him. Today, Atiku Abubakar married a Yoruba man, have Yoruba sons. Atiku Abubakar married Igbo woman, he have Igbo children. Atiku Abubakar have married Hausa woman, he has Hausa children. Married a full woman, he has full and children. He's a pan Nigerian, he's a true African uh, 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 Nigerian man. Only him, among those who are candidates of presidential, who, who are candidates of any political party today, seeking for the presidency of this country, have the capacity and potential to bring us together as a nation. So I want to say, it is time for us to think. I encourage the crusade, the movement started by Peter Obi to continue. Move from campus to campus, move from community to community, move from one progressive group and organization from this country to another to campaign for the new Nigeria that is to come and be part of the movement of Atiku Abubakar to rebuild, to restructure, to reorganize and reboot Nigeria as a country. We must speak the truth and the truth is the truth. You are a great Nigerian. I salute your political and intellectual sagacity. You are one Nigerian that I know. Tomorrow, there's a space for you. But for today, let us forget the social media drama. Let us forget the uh, diaspora um, euphoria. The truth of the matter is we need a unifier. We need one Nigerian that can solve the problem of insecurity in this country. We need a Nigerian that will have intel from every security facet of our national life. We need a Nigerian that will get intel from Cameroon, from Chad, from Mali, from Benin. We need a Nigerian that have that capacity to solve the problem of Boko Haram, banditry and kidnapping because he has intel and connection with the security network in the South African region. And that Nigerian today is Atiku Abubakar. Welcome back, guys. So here we have it. We've had from Dino Melaya, the former federal lawmaker representing Kogi State. He has said a lot of things concerning Peter Obi. He has said Peter Obi is a well intellectually organized fellow, but he believes that it is the time of Atiku to become the president and not Peter Obi. But a lot of Nigerians out there are already queuing behind uh, Peter Obi uh, as the name implies obedient. They have said that it is either peter will be or no one else and they have gone on the social media page to react to the statement made by um senator dino Melaye. and these are some of the reactions from okotie everywhere he says peter did well in his state as governor and has grown several businesses sustained them and in this period of economic challenge he appears to be the best clamoring on production amongst others not only cutting of course we love to see a Nigeria that works and Peter will be it his, he said. Having Ipe said everything now is about Peter Obi, the guy you guys think has no structure, yet you all have lost sleep over his movement. The Baticos didn't see this coming. Thanks for the free publicity though. It is Peter Obi for a better Nigeria and so more. So guys, what are your thoughts? These are what some Nigerians think of what Dino Melaye said about Peter Obi. Why some even think that once you um, say bad things about Peter Obi, then Nemesis will catch up with you. What are your thoughts and comments? Share them with us in the comment section below.